Hey guys, Josh here from Alan Finney again. So um, today I'm going to talk about how to use uh, the Nethmoto, okay? Uh, in particular to uh, flashing, both reading and writing, and also checking error codes and obtaining ECUID. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've plugged your cable in, okay? So I've got a Rostec VCDS hex CAN cable that I've got plugged into the OBD port, and I've also plugged it in to the laptop. Now if you're also using a Rostec VCDS cable, Go into VCDS by opening it up, open options, and make sure you turn off boot in intelligent mode, okay? Press test. Okay. Cool. Then save, exit. So now it's not in intelligent mode anymore, and that will basically allow other third-party applications to use the cable for, the, for different purposes, okay? So open up Nethmodo. Okay, here, here she is. Okay, click up here, make sure you've got your, your cable that you've got plugged in, click on it. I would say go to about 10,400 bore, that's generally what I use um, on like ME7, that sort of thing. Um, okay, press connect with the ignition on. There we go. So we're connected now. Now what you can do is you can read ECU info here, just to see if it can actually communicate with the module. There we go. So I've got all the information there in case I need it. You can read DTCs, and it appears as though I have none. Okay. Now in regards to reading your ECU, you want to click on, you want to go to flashing here, okay, on this tab. Uh, don't worry about flash file, that's irrelevant uh, for reading. Go to choose memory layout. Now, speak to your tuner or speak to uh, myself in regards to what memory layout you'll be using. Okay, for this particular car, I'm going to be using uh, F800BB. Okay. Now, what you can do is with the ignition on, it's connected. Cables in the OBD port and in the laptop, it's clearly working. Hook up a battery charger or a battery stabilizer uh, to your vehicle. I would recommend something that can output 12 volts at 5 or 6 amps, okay? Um, there's plenty of different chargers and uh, stabilizers out there on the market, but make sure that's correctly hooked up because you do not want the voltage um, inside the vehicle dropping below 12. Um, what happens if um, the voltage drops below 12 is that it can create a communication error between the module and the laptop itself. So what we'll do now is we'll click on full read flash. Here you go. So I've loaded a valid memory layout for the ECU. Yes, I have. Engine isn't running. No, the ignition is on though. All right. Click OK. And see what it's doing now is it's reading the ECU. This could take from anywhere from two minutes to, uh, you know, 45 minutes, it depends on the car, two minutes being maybe uh, an Opel Astra, and uh, on the on the far end, you know, you could have something like a Volkswagen R32 Mark V that takes 40 to 45 minutes sometimes, um, if it's not bench flashed or bench red. I also forgot to mention, guys, um, that you got to make sure that the aircon is off, the lights are off, um, you know, the headlights, things like that, um, and also your interior lighting is off. This will also help bring the voltage up to, or, you know, 12 volts and above, and it will stop other things pulling, pulling current from the battery. So just, just if you want to make sure the communication is stable and you don't have any voltage drop and cause, you know, um, bricked modules. Just um, yeah, turn all the interior electronics off, pull out your dash cam or you know your 12 volt charging port.
but obviously leave the ignition on the entire time. Also during this time, don't pull out the uh, OBD cable, don't pull out the, the cable from the laptop, um, and don't turn the ignition off yet again because um, you'll have a failed read. And uh, during the writing process, uh, like I said, it can break your ECU, and um, that'll have to be taken out and it'll have to be boot mounted. Alright, so as it's about to complete, just make sure you follow the instructions if it tells you to turn the ignition off and such. Alright, what you want to do, you want to save it as a file that you, you'll remember, okay? So I'm just going to go um, stage one file TT, okay? And I'll do dot bin. I'm going to save that to my desktop. Done. There you go. All good. So now what you can do is turn the ignition off. Alright, you can... Uh, Disconnect. Don't worry if you have an error code for um, low, voltage low in the engine control module. That's very normal. Um, now, what I what I normally would do after each flash to the ECU, which I'll go over in a second, is um, I'll open up VCDS. Okay. Turn the ignition on. Go to engine. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to go into basic settings, type 060, press enter, okay? Now it's going to do a throttle body adaption. And what that's going to do, it's going to recalibrate the throttle body to the accelerator pedal just to make sure that everything is where it should be, all right? And as I said, there might be a voltage low. Yep, it's very common. Don't worry about that. You can clear that. All good. Cool. All right. Now um, what you can do in regards to actually flashing with Nathmodo, uh, you'll want to again, I, I prefer 10,400 board rate, okay, ignition on, connect, Okay, here we are. Now with flashing, what you want to do is you want to click on choose flash file. Okay, so for me, I'm going to go stage one file TT, open. 
okay, my memory layer, and then write full flash, okay? Follow the process, all right? It will give you some instructions. It will say some prerequisites, make sure that you're 12 volts, you know, hook up a battery charger, that sort of thing. Now, remember, leave the key uh, and the ignition on the entire time. Don't touch the laptop um, when it's during the writing process, obviously, unless you need to ensure the screen stays on. But what I would do, I would turn sleep mode off just for the time while you're flashing. Make sure the OBD cable is plugged into your laptop and the OBD port all the way. Okay, don't push it too far, but make sure it's in properly. And also make sure that you've got a battery stabilizer or, or charger on your battery. Okay, and then basically after that's done, like I said, do a throttle body adaption VCDS and um, off you go. Thanks for watching, guys.